There it is. Oh, that's much better. How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Wiley with me today. What's up, bud? Hey, how you doing today? Man, shoot, I'm living the dream. Look at there. Back at this old John Deere L Skitter. Oh. Yes. <laughs> 648G old. Yeah, 648G. This is the one that needed the valve body on it, and the, the owner said that he would leave it on this blue GMC. A lot of you ask about this GMC. We don't do small gas vehicles, uh, but that would be a pretty cool little sports stir to crank up and get out of here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually see if he indeed did leave the valve body on there. Then we're gonna try to crank up this bad boy and move it out of here. But did you bring a weed eater and chainsaw and all that? I did. All Let's right. go see if we can find out where he left the uh, valve bank. He told me where it was. All right. I thought you said it was in that blue truck. Well, he hard, to get, where, hard to get to. <laughs> he told me where it was. I All just right. owned that blue truck. I bought it brand new. No, you did. I swear. No, you did. You haven't known me to tell much of a lie. <laughs> oh, where well, Grady locked it. There you have All it. All right. He indeed left the air. Wow. This is what we're going to be putting on. That's the turn motor for the grapple. This is the bow bank. Yeah. And what he took it off for, he was going to reseal it. And after years, hope you got the wire brush. I don't know if I got one in the truck or not. We'll look and see. There you go. Need some help? I got this, Hank. You just hold the camera. Do you need some help, Miss Miss <laughs> Wiley? <laughs> Be nice. We had a table to set this on. What? Hey, what about that? We do. Y'all ain't gonna believe this. We got some sophisticated stuff today. We brought the Dewalt cordless chainsaw. Brought the diesel BVA hydraulics. That's a port of power in case we need it. Batteries, and then uh, the sure can. And look, a folding table. Wiley made a comment a while ago, probably three, four videos back, about not liking picking up tools on the ground. And what did old Hank Hamilton do? I thought about my buddy, and I said, I'm gonna bring us a table. What? How come you don't have it? <laughs> okay, I'll get it. I'll get it. So not only did we get a chance to have a picnic today, we'll put parts on this. Well, we're gonna change the color of that table real quick. Well, my wife don't know I brought it. Uh, <laughs> well, good, she don't watch your videos. Yeah, anyway, that, this is true. Explain what a valve bank does. Well, it controls your functions of your grapple. The hydraulic flow, right? Right. Uh, one of these is open and close. One of these is rotate. And the other one is uh, up and down on your boom. Gotcha. Now, if it was a dual function grapple, yeah, it would have another extra valve bank in here for that. Okay. But your, the levers attach here. Right. Your hydraulics fluid comes into here and returns here. And there you go. Or here. Or here or somewhere. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I'm sure they got a mark just where they're supposed to go, don't you? I, I would think so. Well, usually that's what happens when we stumble upon these projects. Projects like this. Okay, let's go. Today, Hank's the cameraman. I wore shorts. This is my sister-in-law's weed eater. <laughs> oh yeah? She don't watch either. <laughs> <laughs> Wiley said, let's go back out of there and do this uh, skitter where we gotta put the valve bank on. So, okay. And I wore shorts. I should have worn my shorty shorts today. <laughs> oh, man. I might be some dumb, but I ain't plumb dumb. I feel that camera pointing at my rear. It, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> I didn't think it was bad at all, Wiley. I got shorts on. You're going to have to go do that. <laughs> all right. 
Now what? Okay. Taking off the side panel so we can access it here. Sir, oh, clock. Oh, well, they put paper towels in. That's good. Drop towels in. It is. Have the controls from the top side. Right. They can see the bolts here. Mm-hmm. The bolt in. I guess screw on right there. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. Yeah. Uh, I got some shop towels too. Couple of them left anyway. Does that fit on there? No. Good news is if we can just get it where it's not pouring out, All right? We can get the grapple up, and because uh, the valve bank it has a separate. I mean, the uh, blade. blade has a separate valve bank. Gotcha. And uh, the transmission builds up pressure through the hydraulic pump. Okay. This is just, all this does is function the grapple. Yeah, okay, yeah, that does make it easier. Yeah. These are the three bolts that hold uh, the piece on there. Oh, no, it's not. Just kidding. <laughs> nope, it ain't. These are the piece for the sheet metal. We've got to find the pit pieces that go there. I thought those was it. Yeah, me too. There's three of them, so you'd think so. Let me tell you what the dilemma is. The three, these three bolts fit the bolt holes on the tractor, but they don't fit in the valve body. Huh. It would go in there like this where the levers could hit it. Yep. Four functions. Mm-hmm. It's a three function. And? This come off a dual arch machine. Yeah. And you know what else I bet? Because the two holes are on, well, I guess, it, no, yeah, on the top side, the levers have to connect here. The two holes are on the left side, and the one hole is on the right side. So I thought, I saw, the, let me go ahead and show y'all what I'm talking about. Yeah, see here, the two yeah. holes are on the right side, and the single hole is on the left side. That's correct, and that's yep. what I was going to show you. Yep. So that is not the valve bank that nope. come off the machine. Would plug these holes yeah. up, but it's got to. The fluid's got to flow through. Yeah, sure. I don't think I can plug the hose. Can you couple the? Can you make a circuit? I don't. I, I don't know which one to circuit. I would. I would assume these two bit. The two biggest ones here. In and out. Yeah. Or maybe this one's got the different. This one's got a female and the rest, or, well, they're all females, yeah. right? But the, this one's got a different coupler than their, no, it don't. It's just straight instead of an elbow. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to sit here and research it and maybe reach back out to the owner, see if he's got the right valve body. Maybe he just picked up, maybe he's got a few and he picked up the wrong one. So we'll try to finish it up or we will uh, come back to it. All right, we're back out here and... Wiley's already pulled the skitter out from over there by the parked uh, Volvo, the wreck, the wreck Volvo. So what he's doing now is just kind of getting it situated so that the, when the low boy comes, they'll have enough room in the area to, to get it loaded up onto the low boy with no issues there. And here's the low boy that's going to, this Peterbilt that's going to take it back to Kentucky, I believe is where it's going. Look like they got another piece of equipment in it, but so basically he's just finding a good spot to hook up. So, can I chain this around this winch thing here? To, and then leave it up and you can get another bite on it if you want to keep. Okay. All 
All right, you should be able to relieve, relieve some of that. Oh, we think we got it a little secured here. Is that hole in the middle? No, sir. Uh, it can go this way. Go that way, but hurry. Make this way? The small chain? The, the small chain broke. I'll run the big chain through the same hole as the small chain. Oh, we had a small, the big chain hooked to a small chain and it broke. So hopefully this will work. We kind of re, uh, re-rigged it. There it is. Yeah, it's working good now. But now we gotta probably have to do something with those tongs. Yeah, now he'll he'll shorten the chain up. There he goes. Now he'll he'll put he'll tighten the chain up on the, the skitter. And that'll keep it from going down further. This is quite the process. There we go. We should have some ground clearance now to get it onto the, the low boy. Actually, that's not a low boy, but the flat deck. All right, so here's where it did sit. And now he's gonna get in front of it, push it. The, the problem is the skitter that's getting sold doesn't have any brakes, and so He's having to push it, manipulate it, and all that good stuff to get it onto the trailer. The one important thing about doing this kind of work is to make sure that everybody's on the same page so that it's as safe as possible. And it, everybody has the same expectations, you know? And also, Wiley's machine has only got two-wheel drive, so he's trying to get it to where he can bring, roll it down, roll it downhill onto the trailer with not as much effort, you know. Another good thing about it is this road. I mean, I bet they ain't five cars a week come down this road, so that's a good thing. So a lot of you may be asking, why don't he just pick it up with a grapple and pull it that way? And that's kind of my question too. So we'll see what he, I haven't talked to him. I don't want to bother him while he's in the process of getting it loaded up or whatnot. But that would be my question is why, why do not he using the grapple? But he may end up using the grapple here in a second. I'm not sure. Getting the trailer a little closer. Looks like he is. Wiley said make sure he's out of the road. Looks like he is. 
definitely enough to let traffic pass them. Some of these guys are just outstanding drivers. I'll put them wherever, but this is not, you know, this is not a really challenging spot for this guy to get into and out of, but he's doing a good job so far. Concerned about that one tongue on that grapple. Now they're gonna try to keep the machine from articulating. Got it. I need to bring it over to you, Sal. Yeah, he he's going to. Got one of those cool. Oh, Ooh, it's a hot one today. Now let me tell you. We'll ask Wiley after the, when he gets done with all his work why he chose not to pick it up. Maybe the grapple's not functioning. I'm not sure. I know he said it only had two wheel drive. The gears are a little tough. It? All right, looks like she's straight now. Hey, come on, wild man. I have no brakes. I can't work. <laughs> says he can't work here. I thought that one didn't have no brakes. This one ain't got no brakes. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should have gave ourselves more room, maybe move the, the skitter up here so he could get behind it. <laughs> there is no whoa. <laughs> What's pretty cool is you can't hear it on side, but they're actually discussing how they're doing it and it's pretty, I don't know if these two guys have ever met, I don't know if Wiley's ever met this truck driver before or not, but it's really interesting to see how two different people with two different ideas discuss what's best to get, it. I mean, ultimately the driver is, you know, responsible for the load going back. You know, I would probably defer to him unless the plan he had with this didn't make any sense whatsoever, but it's pretty cool. I mean, that's, that's, that's humans, right? That's society talk things out, work things out, come up with the best idea, you know? I don't know. He's gonna pull the truck up more. Oh, he had room. I thought he was, I thought there was more in that ditch than what he was, but he's got room to push that thing. He's gonna pull the truck up while he's gonna push the skitter up. And then we gotta take care of that grapple on the skitter. Straighten up his side just a little. Loading junk equipment with junk equipment. <laughs> That's how I should title this video. This is where some headphones would come in good. So me and Wiley can communicate because the driver's kind of telling me what he wants Wiley to do. All right, I think he's ready to push it. Looks good on this side. Yeah, you, you're good on this side. What happened? We put two chains on her like we do. Yeah. I don't know why the guy throw the red bars away. That's what that's for. Oh, I know. Yeah, keep it from articulating. Yeah, that's right. All right, here it goes. Oh Lord, he's just spinning on that. Hey! He can't, whoa, I forgot. That's the... That's probably better that it rolled that way anyway.
All right, you're gonna try it again. Yeah, we're in good shape now. All right, now he's just gonna move it over about six, seven inches to the driver's side. And then push her all the way up. And this project will be whew, one for the books. Please don't go over the side, Wiley. If that goes over now, it's in, we'll be in bad shape. Yeah, it's, it's, if you see the machine Wiley in junk jerking, that's because we've got no brakes, so he's taking it in and out of gear to kind of. Yeah, I think that's good, dude. Yeah. Good call, driver. Oh, that yeah, follow, bring it with you, follow me with you. Oh, gotcha. All right. Uh, there. Yeah, yeah. It won't make it to the next one. We're in pretty good shape now if you look at the... I mean, we got it 90% of the way on there. Well, 100% on the trailer, I guess. <laughs> Just gotta get it now situated. Perfect. Perfect. So basically what he's doing is pushing, pushing up, pushing over, pushing up, pushing over. Oh, good Lord. That scared me. Yeah, now he's going to square up to it. Good call, Wiley. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Got, look at that tire. I mean, it is barely hanging on. <laughs> he, can't, he can't stay up. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, Lord. You don't put that. There it is. Oh, that's much better. Oh, no, Wally. just a reaction on my part in it all right let's regroup all right let me give y'all a, a sit rip that's the skitter we've been using there well it's been leaking hydraulic fluid and it's got to the point where it needed some so we rode to the store picked up some hydraulic fluid and while we were gone uh the gentleman that owns the place over here called his buddy with a, a legit skitter that is in full operational condition uh, and uh, he is bringing it and he's going to lift it. It's a 748, so he'll be able to lift it, set it on the trailer. Wiley, you need a shower. Yeah, there you go, Joe. <laughs> I, I got the wipes, is all I got. <laughs> yeah, I tell you. All right, here comes the Calvary. Now it's a 648. We were thinking it was a 748, but it's not. He's probably assessing the situation from the cab, dual arch. So Wiley's gonna go get the other skitter, kind of tag team it. Got just a little damage to the trailer at aluminum rail though. It looks like you can probably just cut that off and re-weld it. I think it'll be all right. 
All right, Wiley's got that one fired up. This gentleman, I don't even know his name. I'm gonna try it from this approach. Uh. And I, you know, I'm just, I'm just standing out of the way here. So sorry if the camera angles ain't all that great. He could just stop at that right there. Mm. It looks like Wiley is now under it. He's gonna get under, under it. <laughs> under, under it. He's gonna pick that blade up. Probably should chain that blade up if we got some more chains. That way it won't fall down again. Now if that other guy could come and help him with this side. Yeah, there you go. I think we might be on to something now. He was also talking about a backhoe. He's got one at his house. And might go get that. He's trying to figure out the best angle to get in there. Hard to put three big pieces of equipment in the same spot. He's going to get in here and talk to Wiley about the game plan. They talked about something. I wasn't there. Like I say, I'm just trying to stay away from them, to be honest with you. I've got the play-by-play -play here at the Hamiltonville Farm Skitter Loader Competition. And right now, it looks like the G3 is in the position to take the lead. And the 648 is calling it quits. I think he's going to the house to get the backhoe. I'm pretty sure that's what he said he was doing. I think I hear the backhoe coming. So now I can get over here. See, he's got, oh yeah, here it comes. I see the boom off the side here. Yep. Ugh. Okay. I was telling Wiley, I thought I, what I would have done is I'd have left that skitter here, gotten that golf cart that's sitting right there, and then went back and got my backhoe and had both pieces of equipment here just in case you needed that backhoe again. I mean, that skitter again. So I think he's going to try to pull it from this side. Forward, maybe a triple nickel or quad five, whatever they are for forwards.
So he's trying to hold it with a backhoe so he can get under it. There it is, there it is. Now he can probably get under it. Maybe. There it is, there it is. There it is. Get on up here, bud. Oh, don't go downhill. That'll at least keep it from rolling back down it. There you go. Now come forward. Now come forward with the skitter. But he's got to bump it. He ain't got no brakes. He's giving us some hand signals to the backhoe operator. Oh, right there he says. Backhoe's off of it. I'm not sure what the plan is now. That's good. Oh. You ready? Well, doggone it, he busted, busted a hydraulic line. <laughs> Probably. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Bless his heart. Golly, what a nightmare. All right, it's all hands on deck here, so I'll film when we get everything situated. So put the camera up for a little bit and help these guys out. I'm not going to hook It's very difficult to orchestrate this. Two, three tractors. All right, a little more control on this green one here, so we're gonna try it again. It looks good on this side. But it's, it's, it's going this way. No, and it's, it's pointed to the left. Uh-oh. Now. Now his ain't going in gear. Are you serious? Okay, I think he got worked out. Now this is where we messed up last time. <laughs>
All right, he's gonna try to push it about four inches to the passenger side here. Wow, what a day. So let me give y'all, while he's doing this, let me talk to you a little bit about what's going on. Yeah, see, he's actually gonna go up a little bit with it, forward. We've got a place over there. Oh, that's perfect, look how that, look how that blade caught that ramp right there, that's perfect. So we've got a place where, where the GMC Astro is and where that Volvo is that we can use equipment, the correct equipment to get it centered on his trailer and all that. And it ain't, it ain't probably 15 miles from here. All back roads, no, you know, not very dangerous, I guess you'd say, but we can get, we can tie it down, get it over to the place where we can use the correct equipment and secure it properly. Over here, you're just using junk to load junk. You know what I mean? So, so I think that's the plan. Now that it's on the trailer, they'll get it secured, get it over to the other lot where we got the appropriate equipment to no kid and get this thing secured on the trailer. We've got the tractor trailer fired up. Is he gonna follow you? You look tired, buddy. <laughs> it's been a day, ain't it? Oh, today is Friday the 13th, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> what a day. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. All right, off to a uh, more secure place and then off to Kentucky. We'll tie it down and get out here. It's an easy life, man. <laughs> easy. You guys take care. God bless.